In this tutorial, I'll show you how to allocate your capital across multiple DeFi protocols in one transaction using DeFi Zap. A Zap is a smart contract that auto spreads incoming deposits across compound, fulcrum, token sets, and others based on preset allocations. Bundling many manual steps into a single transaction, a Zap helps you save time and gas. And to help you filter available Zaps, we built a Zap generator. So let's see how it all works. Before we get started, uh, this is not investment advice. Do not make investment decisions solely based on results generated by this tool. Okay, so once we click get started, we'll answer a few multiple choice questions to see which zap might fit our needs. It's questions like, what is your investing style? How much experience do you have interacting with DeFi protocols? And what is your current strategy? Finally, what is your outlook on ETH USD price for the next three months? You can answer not sure if you're not sure. Click get results and our tool will provide you with a zap that might be useful for you. Again, this is not investment advice, so please do your own research. If something looks off over here, please send us feedback in our Telegram. During Kyber's virtual hackathon, you will view almost all available zaps generated but only lender zap is live on the mainnet. So we'll go ahead and we'll try investing one ETH through lender zap. A lender zap allocates incoming deposits 90% to CDI and 10% to DLA 2X. Therefore, if you send one ETH to the zap, you'll receive 0.9 ETH worth of CDI and place a 2x margin trade with 0.1 ETH on Fulcrum, giving you exposure to 0.2 ETH on Fulcrum. So we'll click buy and select one ETH. Confirm our transaction and wait for it to confirm on the blockchain. Once your transaction is confirmed, you should be able to see it on Etherscan. This is our transaction. And as you can see, this resulted in 7,775 die around there that we received, C die. And the rest went into Fulcrum. 2x margin trade. So we can see these assets as ERC20 tokens in our wallet. Important thing to note here is that this transaction cost us a total of And now I'm going to individually transact on Compound and Fulcrum to attain the same end result. And after we'll compare our transaction costs. So I'm going to go ahead and switch my account. And at first, I'm going to convert. Point nine ether from ether to die.
And while we're waiting for that transaction to confirm, I'm going to initiate a 2x long on the fulcrum with 0.1 ETH. So now once our transaction has been confirmed, we received the 163.01 die. And now we're going to go into Compound. Enable die. Which costs a transaction fee, keep in mind. So once die has been enabled, we can click supply, max, and submit another transaction. In the meantime, let's check out, oh yes, this order has been fulfilled. And now if we look into Etherscan, we can see that this transaction alone has been processed for $1.31 with Fulcrum. So this transaction is 0.1 ETH to Fulcrum. So now that all the transactions cleared, we can compare everything that it took to get to our end result through a manual process. So at first we had to convert ETH to DAI, which cost us around $1.32. Proving DAI was only five cents. And then converting DAI to CDAI was 13 cents. So in the end result, uh, we ended up spending almost $3 to get exactly what we got in one transaction through a lender zap for $2.50. Another thing that's really important to note is that we actually received a little bit more CDI as you can see, it's 7,775.93, as opposed to seven thousand seven hundred and sixty-seven point fifty-one when I did it manually using this same exact ether amount. Since publishing educational guides about popular DeFi tools and observing early users' simulations on DeFi strategies, we were inspired to create an easy way for anyone, no matter how much they know about using each DeFi tool, to get instant access to multiple DeFi protocols. We've registered a lender.defizap.eth on the Ethereum name service, so you can actually navigate to our contract by going lender defi zap.eth so that investing into compound and fulcrum is as easy as sending a deposit from your wallet ultimately we intend to allow our users to be able to create their own zaps uh, based on your own custom requirements in the meantime, you can submit a request by creating a new issue on our GitHub. Um, thank you, and we are looking forward to your feedback on our Telegram.